Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm revisiting the Bell Custom 500 helmet and the, the reason why I'm laughing already is because I've been doing this take for a few times because I couldn't get the name straight. Um, <laughs> as simple as it is. This is my dyslexia by the way. But anyway. The reason why I'm doing this is because the previous video that I've done on it uh, was quite brief just talking about my first impressions. Obviously I haven't had to spend that much time with it. It was pretty much uh, opening, the help, uh, opening up the box, trying it and going for a ride. So all this summer I've been riding with it. I haven't, I think I only wore my uh, Shoei Neotech 2 once and this was because it was a much longer ride and I wanted to be safe and uh, have all the protection but uh, most of my rides are in, in London are going to work or going to a cafe or meeting friends so for that reason this is the perfect one for the summer and that's what I did obviously last time I showed you the peak and that I used on this one and uh, although uh, it looks pretty cool and um, it protects you a little bit of, from the sun you know, the, one of the things to consider is if you go a little bit high speed, it kind of pulls. If you put your head straight, it, you, you, it pulls your head backwards because it kind of catches the wind. Obviously, if you're not going, if you have um, a visor on your bike, you probably won't have this issue. But uh, obviously, I don't uh, having a naked bike. So this was um, uh, something to consider thinking about other options. I tried using sunglasses uh, and the, most of them were kind of fine up to 40 miles. If you go past 40 miles, you do get a little bit of pressure around your eyes and this made me a little bit uncomfortable to, to enjoy my rides. But other than that, the helmet is getting more and more comfortable, obviously it's getting to the shape of my head. Um, so it's, it's, I'm loving it a lot, it's light to carry. Uh, it's quite cheap, so I don't have to worry too much about what happens to it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just just lovely. I have uh, really good, um, only good things to say about it. Obviously, um, because I've been wearing glasses uh, or sunglasses when riding, I, I was wondering if there's a better solution. So again, I looked around what are my other options. And as I previously mentioned, I looked at um, uh, goggles to wear with it. And I only saw one that actually suited me and fitted with this helmet. Um, but I still didn't quite like the idea of having goggles and putting the pressure um, and covering a lot of my face. Now, this is a bit contradictory, but uh, what I did is I bought a bubble visor. And this is the one I got. So, obviously, you're going to say you didn't want to cover your face and then you got. Um, a bubble visor yes I did and the, the simple reason is first when I saw this one and as you can see uh, has a like a mirror effect is a is a kind of gray grayed out and the, uh, obviously with with the dark backgrounds you can see it becomes a mirror and I thought I thought this would be awesome for the videos it would be awesome as it looks pretty cool and it's pretty retro right when I saw this, I was like, I need to get it. And this is done, uh, is made by Builtwell. And obviously you think, would it fit my um, my Bell helmet? Bell has their own visors, but they didn't have this kind of style. And uh, when I spoke to the guys, uh, at, again, at the Urban Rider, um, this was obviously another purchase that I did there uh, very recently. And uh, they said, yeah, you won't have any problems fitting it. And I bought it, uh, I fit it, and it's actually, funny enough, it was actually easier to fit this than the, um, than the peak that I got from Bell. This visor, and I can show you, hopefully I don't make a fool of myself now, but it was pretty simple, as you can hear the clicks. And I've uh, been fiddling around with this one. And you can see one, two, and the other one, three and that is pretty much it now I don't know if this is is done purposely but you can kind of open a little bit uh, and this kind of helps to put the helmet on and then I'll push it back 
but this is the look of the helmet. I think it's a really cool retro and um, although it covers all your face, you actually don't notice that because um, when you have an open face helmet, you don't really see the edges of the helmet and not like a full face helmet, so you don't see anything. Um, but you do get the wind. So with this, you don't really get to, you know, it feels like you have a film covering your face. So the wind doesn't hit you at all, but uh, you can see everything so clearly and you don't see the edges of the helmet. So this is perfect. And I was thinking, this is actually my, my favorite way of riding because I get, to, um, you know, uh, protection from the sun, protection from the wind. It looks insanely cool. And uh, it was, again, it was, I think it was about 30 pounds or 35 pounds. Super cheap for what it is. Um, obviously, I've cleaned a few times, but uh, you know, it hasn't got as dirty as my, oh, as my other helmets, the visor of my other helmets, which is weird because it's such a big area. Uh, maybe because I probably don't go that fast, so I don't get the, the, that many insects or dirt on it. Um, yeah, this was one of my coolest uh, buys this summer and uh, with the helmet. And I thought, you know, I liked it so much, I actually did my own t-shirt. And you've probably seen this in my other videos. I kind of never really plug it in because I don't like pushing things, but uh, you know what, I'm trying to um, turn a hobby into a business, even if it's a small one, just for fun. I've been doing my t-shirts and this is one of the designs. This is the, by the way, the Cafe Racer series. I have three, uh, three designs on this. And uh, when I did this, and I, I actually took a photo of the helmet like that, I thought that's, that's, that, that, that would be cool for a t-shirt. So that's, there you go. I've done, and I've done a few different uh, options. So if you do want to have a look and uh, support me in any way, jump uh, going to v79moto.cc, check out the designs. If you like it, go go ahead and buy. Would really appreciate that. But if you don't, I won't get mad. You know, and it's a free free country, right? And uh, if you like it, support it. If you don't, it's cool. Anyway, so this is by far my favorite helmet uh, for the summer, and uh, probably. Uh, not again, it's still not going to be as comfortable or safe as my show in your tech, but to ride around quick rides around the city or nearby, whatever area you're in, I think is a really great option. It makes you look super cool and uh, you know, a bit of Daft Punk look as well. So, if, you, if you're into this, if you like uh, your open face helmets, but you want a little bit of protection from the wind, if you're going a little bit faster. This, this is a great option. Anyway, I hope you like this. Uh, and I'm trying to do more videos more often. I have a couple more things to talk about and uh, come back to the channel and I'll tell you what I've bought. And it's a long overdue. I actually have it here and it's waiting for me to open it and fit it on the bike and um, you'll, you'll see. Come back and I'll tell you all about it. Anyway, until then, have a great one. See ya, bye.